Gets around one man in the left circle. Dowling, a feed inside to Brett Ritchie, scores! Injury is something all athletes dread. Texas Stars forward Brett Ritchie suffered a wrist injury this past July and is ready to put it behind him. Training in the summer, I had a little on ice skate that we were doing. Went in to take a shot, you know, just sort of a freak accident. My wrist uh, felt like a little pop, and then I, as time went on, I didn't really heal, and I ended up having to get uh, surgery on it to repair the subsheath, the tendon. You know, that happened, I think it was late July, and I've been uh, recovering for about three and a half months from it. Beats it back for Brett Ritchie, scores! Brett is thankful the injury wasn't worse and is happy to be playing hockey again. You know, I had the surgery and I stayed home for a couple weeks when the season started. I wasn't even here for training camp, so obviously you just try and stay positive. You, you know, I, I was lucky that it was my wrist and it wasn't something else where I couldn't, you know, keep working out and keep running or whatever it was that I was doing. The recovery went well. I uh, obviously I got back on the ice this week and, you know, no complaints there. The wrist held up fine and, you know, every game it sort of feels a little more confident, a little more, a little stronger. So, you know, hopefully it just keeps progressing and we won't have to worry about it anymore. In just his third game back after the wrist injury, Brett Ritchie tallied a hat trick right here at the Cedar Park Center against Stockton in a 5-2 victory for the Stars. Put on the night, a hat trick for Ritchie. Those were three pretty easy goals. I think, uh, you know, a lot of credit to the guys who were passing me the puck there, I think. Um, you know, I just happened to be the beneficiary of a couple good plays. So, you know, anytime you can score, it sort of raises your confidence a little bit and, you know, gets you off the schneid a little bit. I hadn't scored in six months, hadn't really played. so. Uh, it was nice to get those goals for sure. Richie knows he's got teammates around him that push him to be the best he can be every day. We have such a good team, such a, a deep team. We can roll four lines. It's, you know, you, you, you're just going to score by committee a lot of times. And, uh, you know, whether it's me or someone else, we, if we just keep chipping away, we'll be all right. Managing the highs and lows of any career can be a challenge. The same could be said for professional hockey. You can't have too many highs and too many lows. It's, you're, there's going to be games and days where you're, you're up in days when you're down, you just got to try and manage those highs and lows. And, you know, it's, if, you can, if you can do that and stay, stay sort of in the middle, you're, you're going to end up, you know, on the positive side of things more often than not. You know, put it behind you and just try and stay right in the moment. Uh, you know, that's, I think that's the biggest thing. It's such a long year. There's 80 to 100 games, whatever it is, with playoffs. So, you know, if you're, if you're riding your wave of emotions like that for that long, it's, uh, it'll, it'll feel like a long year. The goal is obviously to get back to Dallas where the NHL has given Brett a new perspective on life. I flew up there that day and then I didn't even think I was going to play, but they ended up putting me in the lineup. So it was sort of a whirlwind. I didn't even really have time to think about it, but um, it's pretty cool. You know, I think it's almost better that way when you just sort of get thrown into the fire and not, not have time to even think about it. But you know, obviously it's a, that's it. that was a night I'll never forget. It was a pretty cool experience. Believe it or not, Richie actually scored his first AHL goal when he debuted in the league. Then he scored his first NHL goal in his debut with Dallas. It feels like it is the start of the season for me, so I'm, I'm excited and I'm just trying to work hard. And obviously, yeah, I want to get, get called back up there and start playing there. That's, the, that's obviously the ultimate goal for all of us. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be thinking about that too much. Just going to take it, take it a game at a time and uh, just keep rolling here. At the Cedar Park Center, Jeff Power, Stars Insider.